hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i am sharing one of my go-to event looks and it's a look i've been wearing for a lot of weddings recently so starting with skin i love to use mac strobe cream before any event because it gives my skin a really nice radiant glow and then I like to take the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer so my makeup lasts all day and it's a really nice base for my foundation to work off. To help with my discoloration I'm using the NYX Orange Corrector. This is really great because it will just help to correct those darker areas on my skin so when I apply my foundation it looks a lot more even. Recently I have been using the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation because it really does last all day and it still lets my skin breathe and it looks really nice and radiant and also really great in pictures. This is my all time favourite concealer, it's the NARS Radiant Concealer and it just gives really great coverage without looking too heavy under my eyes. I'm then setting my skin with the Hourglass Powder. I love this one because it still lets my skin glow but it sets it in place for the rest of the day. For my eyes, I'm using the Estee Lauder Deluxe Eye Crayon from the Poppy Sauvage Collection. This is such a great eye crayon because it doesn't budge all day and it is pretty much fail proof. It's so easy to use and it's such a lovely colour to get that bronzy smoky eye. I'm using a colour called Wow Thing from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette but just use any terracotta brown colour for your crease and it'll pretty much give you the same look. I love this one because it gives that sunset look to my eyelids. Going back to the eye crayon stick, I'm just taking this along my lower lash lines just so I have a bit more smokiness there. I'm then running MAC Coffee Eye Pencil along my waterline and I'm also going to be lining my lids with this and I'm also going to actually wing this out just so it gives a bit more shape to my eyes. Don't worry about this being too neat because we are going to smudge this out. I'm going to apply false eyelashes so I'm just adding some mascara to my lashes as a holding agent. I'm using a pair of unicorn lashes, the name of this pair is Majestic AF and they're really lovely because they're super fluttery but they also have a really nice thick band so it gives your eyes some definition as well. I'm not a pro at applying eyelashes at all guys, it takes me a long time. I'm then just going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes too. For my brows I love to use the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and just work in light strokes just so I can recreate the look of actual hairs. Now to add some definition back into my face, I am using a Fenty Match Stick in Mocha and applying this on my jawline, my cheekbone and my temple just to give my face some shape and some definition and some cheekbones. I'm using Matte Give Me Sun as a bronzer just so I give my skin a nice sun-kissed bronzy look. I'm just applying this to the same points as I did my contour. I'm then taking the ABH Amrezi highlighter. This is a really nice gold highlighter and it really, really pops. I've been loving cream blushes recently. I'm using a Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in Blushed Rose and I'm just applying this to the brush and patting it in with my fingers. I love this because it looks really natural and radiant. Okay guys, this is one of my all-time holy grails. It's a lip liner from Natural Collection and it's in the colour Espresso. And I pretty much use this to outline my lips and also fill it in. It's a really nice colour and it's about £1. It's an absolute bargain. And then with my all-time favourite, I'm using Spice Lip Pencil just to fill in my lips. It's a really nice base to work off. Then finishing off with the ABH lip colour in Ashton. This is a really nice deep pinky nude. And we're pretty much done. And this is the makeup look. Now for the part that takes the longest which is draping my sari. Kind of have to dedicate about an hour just to pop this on. And then I pop my very heavy jewellery on and that's the look pretty much complete. So I like to wear my hair up for occasions because I love to wear tukas. But I do sometimes wear my hair down too so very big and voluminous. Um, but that's basically the look. I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think and if you think I should do more of these videos. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!